When mastering, the final stage of processing is to apply brick wall limiting to reduce the dynamic range of the master. To avoid being fooled by an increase in loudness, we recommend linking the input and output threshold controls together so that as more limiting is applied, an opposing amount of gain is reduced at the output. This means that we can hear what effect the processing is having on your master rather than an ear-pleasing yet misleading jump in loudness. For our Vanguard Project Master, we've used their master version as a rough guide for how loud our master should be. To reach the kind of extreme loudness levels at genres like DMB, grime and hip hop demand, pro mastering engineers will often clip the signal through expensive analog to digital conversion, as clipping is an indiscriminate transit shaving process and can be barely audible when done with care. To emulate this in the box, you can use a dedicated clipping plugin or, as we've done, draw for a limiter such as DMG's Limitless that has a clipping section built in that's modelled on the sound of clipping high-grade converters. We've found that clipping before the final limiting gives best results. Aim for about 0.5 to 1 dB of gain reduction. Make sure to enable oversampling to avoid any ugly aliasing or artifacts. Once you've got your limiter set how you like, it's time to consider the output format you'll be delivering your master in. If you're doing a 16-bit master for CD or download store distribution, switching in your limiter's 16-bit dithering and setting the peak output level to minus 0.1 dB will give you a reduced bit depth file that is pretty much at full peak loudness with a tiny amount of headroom to avoid any insuperable peaks or clipping when your master is played back on a low quality CD player or converted to a 320 kilobits MP3. However, if your master is going to be uploaded to streaming services such as Spotify, YouTube or Apple Music, then it's vital that you back both the peak level and amount of actual game reduction off the touch, as your master will be played back to the listener in low quality lossy format and at a balanced volume level, meaning that a full scale CD master will clip due to the decreased resolution. To achieve best quality in this scenario, we've found that a 24-bit master, which is at a peak volume level of minus 1 dB, with 1 to 2 dB less game reduction applied, will give best results. Mac users can download a free tool from Apple called Roundtrip AAC that mimics the audio engine of Apple Music, allowing us to check if your master will sound correct when played back via a streaming service.